All right, it's a Saturday, and we're hoping the weather's going to cooperate because we have so much happening outside today, and it really is for the most part. So mostly sunny skies is what I'm talking about, but the humidity is kicking in this morning. It will improve by this afternoon, so that's a thumbs up, but it's going to be a hot day. Get ready for that. And maybe a stray possible shower or a little rumble of thunder along the I-64 corridor, but heading down to the southwest, so not looking at any of that coming to the east at all, so that's a good sign. And then Sunday, a little cooler, less humidity maybe a stray shower popping up we'll look at that and ahead early week showers and some cooler days on that seven day forecast so lots to talk about to get you set up 75 degrees this hour a few clouds out there but not too bad we're going to start to see that humidity kicking in over the morning hours so you know brace yourself for that area-wide temperature is 69 at martinsburg 70 at frederick 78 already at quantico and 75 degrees at annapolis the big picture showing you all the action is well out to the west of us and off to areas of the northeast. But for us, things are pretty calm and quiet. We have a few just high clouds. That's about it. Not too much to be too concerned with. But we've got this frontal system that moved through. That was all the rain and showers you saw last night. That's going to give us a cooler shift of air into this afternoon. And then by tomorrow, that cooler air will just make itself at home and will be into the 80s versus the 90s where we're going to be today for daytime highs. So no shortage of sunshine this weekend at all. Sunday could bring us maybe a little passing shower or two as well later in the day. But here's your planner for today. 76 degrees by midday. And as I said, the humidity will improve as the day goes on. So that's at least a good sign. Daytime highs, 90 in the city, 89 for Manassas, 84 at Martinsburg, 91 at Culpeper, and 90 at Fredericksburg. So make sure that you, uh, you know, check on your elderly neighbors and don't leave the dogs outside in this heat. Keep them in some shade and give them some cool water. Make sure that they're okay. And if you're hitting the beaches, not bad at all. We'll see some clouds all three days at the beaches as we go through the weekend and the beginning of the week. But temperature-wise, we're not doing too badly at all. We'll be into the 80s and then the 70s by Monday for Sandy Point. Rehoboth and Ocean City, pretty much the same story, except uh, maybe a passing storm is what Ocean City is calling for for today. I see that that's probably going to be because of the uh, activity that's happening out on the coast and we have a frontal system that's stalling out throughout the Carolinas so keep that in mind that's going to give us the clouds as we get into tomorrow oppressive heat continues in parts of the country midsection down to the southeast and they're seeing those temperatures into the triple digits and so they are going to be feeling it a lot more than we are we're going to be in the 90s but not quite as bad the tropics tropical storm Franklin well it's expected to can hurricane status as we get into Sunday and into Monday, it's going to move its way off to the north and then move a little bit to the northeast. So we're not looking at much impact from it at all. Maybe along the shore for the beaches might get some rip currents. Other than that, not looking at anything happening. It'll probably bring some rain showers, though, to Atlantic Canada. And elsewhere... There is a system, a low-pressure system, that's just kind of trying to spur its, spur its way up a little bit. Looks like it could possibly move its way into the uh, southeastern portion of the Gulf and could possibly cause some impact there in the next few days. So that's something that we're watching pretty closely. Uh, other than that, not too much happening that's going to be of much development. Here's that seven-day forecast for you. A few showers as they start school on Monday and maybe a stray one for tomorrow. But look at the seven-day forecast. Staying a lot cooler.